Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Craig's Magic Table. Want to see a cool trick? My wife and I love to go to antique stores. You never know what you're going to find. And a few months ago, we came across this really interesting box. And inside is when it got really interesting. We found a piece of a broken pocket watch. And I would give that to somebody to hold. Also, a skeleton key. And I would give that to somebody else to hold. So this would be as if you were had two people here. This is what we would do. And everything you're about to see is exactly how it would look if you were here. The only difference is you would be making all of the decisions, completely free choices. But because you're not here, we're going to use random roll of the die. It's no wonder that so many board games and casino games rely on dice because the outcomes are completely random. So when I roll this dice, it rolled a six. If I roll it again, it rolls a four, so different numbers. Also in this box were these old photographs, and somebody took the time to laminate them, so they must have meant something to somebody. And the way this little game works is if you were here, who was ever holding the pocket watch, I would ask, is there anything about this picture appeal to you? Could it be a hairstyle, article of clothing, an expression on the face? And if you said yes, I would give you that picture. If you said no, we discard it. And I would do the same thing for the key. If you're holding that key and you like the picture, I would give it to you. If not, we discard it. But because you're there and I'm here, we're going to get creative and use odd and even cards. So the pocket watch, will represent odd, and the skeleton key will represent even. So I'm going to ask who's ever holding the pocket watch if they like this picture. And I roll the die. If it's odd, that means they said yes, and I will give them the picture. If they, and if it's an even number, we'll discard it, and we do the same, just the opposite for even. So you'll see how we do. So the odd, anything about this picture you like. I roll the die, it's a three. So yes, they would say something about that picture appealed to them, so I would give them the picture. How about over here? holding the key. Anything about this picture appealed to you? And that person, a four. Yes, that's an even number. And how about you? Anything about this picture appealed to you with the pocket watch? It's a five. That's odd. Yes. So they like that picture. How about you with the even? Do you like that? And that's a one. That's odd. So no, we'll discard that picture. With the pocket watch, anything about this picture appealed to you? Five. Yes. So that goes there. How about over here with the skeleton key? Does anything appeal to you here? Four, that's even, yes. How about this one with the pocket watch? Anything appeal to you there? That's a five, that's odd, yes. Boy, the pocket watch seems to like everybody. <laughs> How about over here with the skeleton key? That is even, so yes. How about this photograph, Mr. Pocket Watch? Does that appeal to you? That's a six, no, so we'll get rid of that one. How about skeleton keys? Anything appeal to you on this one? That's a five, that's odd, so that's no. How about this one for the pocket watch? Anything appeal to you on odd? Yes. So they would get that one. How about the skeleton key? Anything appeal to you? One that's odd, so that means no. How about pocket watch? Does this photograph appeal to you? That's a one, yes. And how about the skeleton key? Anything appeal to you on this one? That's a four, yes. And I just want to say this one more time. If you were here, Who's ever holding those items would have made the decision whether they liked the photo or not, completely free choices. These photographs nobody liked right here. And I'll tell you now, there's something in common with all of these photographs. These were all passengers aboard the Titanic. And this photograph, for example, is Mr. Henry Mitchell, age 70. He was en route to Toledo, Ohio, and had originally purchased a ticket for the Philadelphia Coal and was not available because of a minor strike and the Philadelphia's voyage was canceled. He was transferred to the Titanic, and he died. Here's another one that somebody didn't want this picture. Mr. Richard Williams, age 21. This person survived. So these cards tell us whether they survived or where they died. Now the person holding the pocket watch, I will tell you that this pocket watch was found in the pocket of one of the victims floating in the Atlantic. This person that had this watch did not survive. And these photographs appealed to that person. This person here, Mr. Stephen Blackwell, age 45. Miss Bonnell said she last saw Mr. Blackwell in the smoking room talking with Captain Smith. Although a body initially identified as Blackwell was recovered, it appeared that his body was never found. He died. This person died. I'm gonna show you the pictures that this, the watch liked. Died. 
this person died, as did this person, and as did this person. Every person the pocket watch liked died. The person with this skeleton key survived the Titanic. This key was handed down to relatives. And the die appeared to have liked these. And this person here, Mr. Frederick Spedden, age 45, survived. This person, George Harder, survived. This person, Estel Clark, survived. And the last one that the person holding the, or the key liked survived. Those were all random choices of the die and it came up perfectly matched between dead and survived. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful and safe day.